My name is Kapulu Jifrem Soke. I'm a teacher at Yosia Girls High School, found in Mokoba, Tanzania. I'm here on our second video to talk about uh, male merger. The second video is mainly specific, specifically going to talk about uh, the Excel template, how we can make the Excel templates which we'll be using in male merger. But before we go very far, uh, I'm giving you a reflection spot. Note down the reasons why you, you want male merger. Get a piece of paper, note down why you think you need male merger. And after the reflection spot, we can continue uh, looking at the video. Uh, after having seen the reflection spot, we can now go on and we'll look at the samples of the different uh, programs. Uh, I'll start with the uh, circular. In this circular, uh, you see I'm using Excel 2010 as I told you. For example, if I want, I want to send circulars to parents, I can uh, make one section possible for the parent. That means this one will apply to every student and I will also write the names of the student. Meaning in my document, I'm going to be having uh, Every the search will be able to contain the name of student and the word parent of so and so. So you, depending on what you uh, you want to make according to your reflection spot, try to design something which looks like what you want to make. Me here, I'm trying to show you a sample. This is a circular of around 30 students, and this is the parent of. It contains the section for parent of. Here it contains uh, the names of students. It will depend on what you want. Now you can add on more columns depending on what uh, you are interested in. However, try to limit having so many columns on top because these columns, each column is going to be ready as uh, on the circular. Try to limit having many columns, especially for those people who try to put in uh, People try to put in uh, headings like the heading of the school, uh, local government and so on, this type of examination. This Excel template needs to be specifically made for uh, names, the information which has to be transferred to the respective, uh, to the respective uh, word document which we need. So let us try to limit uh, the, the information which is going to be put in on top. Uh, apart from this, we can also look at uh, another a cheat. Now this one is a school fees cheat. This is a sample. Here I'm having a number of students, the names of the students. Uh, I've put the sex, I've put the classes. Here I'm, I'm putting form 1A, form 1B, though on top it is a different class. But now these are their fit, uh, school fees balances. So it means from this sample, I can make uh, school fees balances. I can send them, uh, make cheats. We'll see them in the cheats in, when we go to Word in the next video. These small cheats can be sent to every parent. You only command the computer. It will transfer this information. It will transfer the fees balance. You may not need to write it uh, down you may have it printed so that it can it is not it is not altered here i have made a sample of only 30 and their balances and the information the information i'll put here it will depend on the information i will require on the other word document uh, from here let us go to our next reflection spot after having come back from our a reflection spot number two. I think you have noted down, you have tried to make what you need to make. Uh, try to see that whatever you have tried to make is what we are going to follow. In our subsequent videos, we are going to be, you'll, I would wish you refer exactly to what you have 
you have made. That is what now we are having as our starting point, and we'll go up to with it up to up to the end. And in the, this last part, I want us to go and we look at uh, uh, something different. Now this one is going to go to the the report. How can we make or how can I have a sample for the report? Looking at this one, I have already made a few marks uh, already filled in. These are students. I've made a very big list of students. I think if you look at the last student, this is student number 300. Meaning that if I wanted to make the, a report card of these, ones, of these students, I must note down their names, where the section for their names, the way you see it here, I'll mark down the six. I've made somewhere, I've recorded their marks, I've recorded their grades. These grades are generated automatically uh, on the formulas I've put there, they are generated. I've also put their comments. These comments match with their, with their different student results. If a student has a D, possibly the comment will be this. If he has an A, the comment will be, will be this. Now, all this information, is now already generated even their averages for the for each student we have the points we have the divisions we have the uh position now what i have included here this is information i've included which is required in my final uh, report you should not include information which is not necessary for your own report only include what is necessary for your reports so according to my report i'll have the section for names i'll have the marks for the different subjects i'll have section for grades i'll have a section for the comments which have already been generated here i'll have a section for the different summaries like the average the points the division and the positions so after having made this all the if this is all the information I require on my full report. So after all this information has been made, I can now transfer this information into uh, onto my final report. And for you, you've already made from your reflection spot number two, you have already made a sample of what you need. It might be a circular, it might be a cheat, it may even be something of this nature. The design of your work here may not matter very much. What is more important is mark down what is required on your report. After marking it down, make sure that all the information which you require to be transferred from here is also on your on your report. Don't just put unnecessary information which is not uh, which is not required. And in our last reflection spot try to save, try to design what you have designed in Reflection Spot 2, try to save it and see how we can, you, uh, how you can use it. Remember, it is where we are going to start tomorrow. If it requires a list of marks, put in the necessary marks so that in our final report, the marks are clear. End up um, today's video after having looked at that part of the report, let us have a last Reflection Spot. After having made what you uh, that template in reflection spot two, try to save that work, and that work is what we are going to use or to look at in the next video uh, in video number four. We are going to base on what you have just made now, and then we will use it in the next next videos. Thank you very much.